So, we start from A. So, we have F x is equal to modulus x plus 1. And x is in between negative 2 to 4. So, when so when x is equal to negative 2, f negative 2 is equal to is equal to negative 2 plus 1 which is negative 1 which is equal to 1. So when x is equal to 4, fx sorry f4 f4 is equal to 4 plus 1. 4 plus 1 which is equal to modulus 5 which is equal to 5. So at this point x negative 2 y is equal to 1 and x 4 y is equal to 5. So but you have to be careful. For modulus you see negative will become positive right and positive of course will also be positive. If you see from a graph line so you see if this one is negative and if this one is positive there must be 0. So it must cross 0 before it can go to positive. So you must check either if 0 is in between negative 2 to 4. So to check that, we make fx is equal to 0. So we have fx is equal to modulus x plus 1. So if x plus 1 is equal to 0, x is equal to negative 1. So we can see here at negative 1, y is 0 and negative 1 is in between negative 2 to 4. So, we can plot the graph. Okay. So, we have negative 2 and 1. Okay. Negative 2 and 1. And then we have negative 1. Negative 2 and 1. Okay. Sorry. Negative 2 and 1 here. So, this one is negative 1 and 0. And then another point is 4 and 5. So, this one will be 4. So let this one be 5. So the graph will be here to here. So you see here, find the corresponding range. So this is very important because like many of you mistake, uh, many of you got this question wrong because for the range, they didn't do the F0. So they do it from 1 to 5, which is wrong. So you should see for range, it should be from the lowest to the highest, which is 0 to Five. So, fx is in between 0 to 5. Alright. For b, fx is equal to minus 2x. When, sorry. When x is equal to negative 2, fx is equal to 4 minus 2, negative 2, which is 4 minus Negative 2 times negative 2 is plus 4, which is modulus 8, which is equal to 8. And x is equal to neg is equal to 4. fx is equal to 4 minus 2, 4. 4 minus 2, 4, which is 4 minus 8, which is negative, modulus negative 4, which is equal to 4. So, we see this point is negative 2 and 8. Negative 2 and 8. This one is 4 and 4. And we must check when fx is equal to 0. If there is in between here and here. So when fx is equal to 4 minus 2x. When fx is equal to 0, 4 minus 2x. 2x is equal to, see we bring it to the left. Is equal to 4. x is equal to 2. 4 over 2 is 2. So we have 1.20. So x2 is still in between the range. So we see here we will have 3.1. 2, 3. So, negative 2 up to 4. And then you have 2, 0 here. So, this is 2, 0. We have negative 2, 8. Okay, 8. Just let this one be 8. Okay, 8. And then we have, this one is 2, 0. And then we have 4, 4. So, 4, 4 like something in the middle. So, we have 4, 4. So, it will be something like this. See, so what is the what is the range? The range from lowest to highest, which is from zero up to eight. So fx is in between zero to eight. Okay. So for C, 
fx is equal to 2x minus 5. So, an f, so x is equal to negative 2, fx is equal to 2, negative 2 minus 5, which is equal to negative 4 minus 5, which is negative 9, equal to 9. So, when x is equal to 4, fx is equal to 2, 4 minus 5, so you see from here. Which is 8 minus 5, which is equal to modulus of 3, which is equal to 3. So you see, we must check when fx is equal to 0. fx is equal to 0. So fx equal to 0. 2x minus 5 is equal to 0. 2x is equal to 5. x is equal to 5 over 2. So you see here, we have this one point. So x negative 2. So negative 2 and 9. This one is... 4 and 3 and this one is 5 over 2 and 0. So we can draw the graph here. Okay, so we have from negative 2 to 4. So we have negative 2. Okay, that is going to be 9 lah. So this one is negative 2 and 9. And then we have 4 and 3. So we want to wait of this. This one is Three, all right, and then we have five over two, which is two point five. Maybe here, five over two zero. So the graph would be okay between these three points. So here, what is the range? The range from lowest to highest. Lowest is zero and highest is nine. So f x is in between zero to nine.